they're already demons. <laughs> You hide here, Velvet. I'm going back to help Celica. I'm so scared. Arthur, please. <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. Celica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will? Sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? I'll come back for you once Celica is safe. It's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Lafie's older sister, and you're a student. On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. Luffy, time to wake up. Uh, okay. Morning. I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the Cape. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself, then. Bring down a few pricklevores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? 
Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. If I'm on the hunt for prickle boars, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Laffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up. hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it. I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Selica taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. since the opening seven years ago. This world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. It's a nightmare. Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons, they gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. Huh. Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to think of it, Selica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Hey, Velvet. Is Lafayette feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest, I think. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. Lafayette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back. Like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit, but still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Selica raised me and Laffy all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. I 
I should probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare, but like Arthur always says, battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. Thank you. 